Sarah Mae, and this is my fifth day of um, 365 days of experiencing God project. And it snowed in Korea last night, which was Friday night. So uh, my baby, baby Noah, he's rocking around. Um, my baby, and oh, he's calling mommy. And my husband and I were at the playground, so I'm playing some snow. I'm so excited that God gave us snow today because, um, you know, it's, it doesn't snow that much in Seoul. I don't know. It, it's, I think it's because of the air pollution and everything. Well, we've got to pray for the environment too. Well, today's verse is Jeremiah 2, verse 6. That's Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 6. It says, They did not ask, Where is the Lord who brought us up out of Egypt and led us through the barren wilderness to the land of desert? A land of drought and utter darkness, and a land where no one travels and no one lives. This is God asking us, even the Israelis, where they were kept, they were kept in the uh, desert and wilderness for 40 years. They did, they did, even they did not complain. But why do you say that? Why do you keep saying that? Where is God? Where is my God? So. God is always put, God always keeps it quiet for a reason, and when He keeps it quiet, then I think we, I think it's it's time for us to pray. God gave us pray and worship and the Scripture for us to have a private time with Him and us. So we have to use that properly, the prayer time and the worship time. So we have to respect how we pray and how we worship God because that's the that's the way that he granted for us so that we can communicate with God so let's pray that we're gonna have we have experiencing God every moment through prayer and worship throughout the day all right well enjoy the snow and my son is completely uh, um, jumping in the snow right now and so I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go save him. Okay, bye.